Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about lipsticks guys. And today I wanna show you 16 of my current favorite lipsticks. We've got it all, we've got drugstore, international, expensive. <laughs> we've got it all guys and um, that's what today's video is about. Just in case this is the very first time you're seeing my face and my crumbled shirt. Hi, I am Jovita. Welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed already, if that button underneath, it just this video is still red in color, click it and make it gray. Yay, welcome to my family. Now let's get started. Did I say all that with lipstick on my teeth? Wow. It's okay not to be okay as long as you know as long as you know everything's gonna be okay all right the very first lip product that i want to talk about is what i've got on my lips right now it's a lip and cheek tint from this brand called earth rhythm they are a hundred percent organic brand clean a formula clean ingredients and all of those so if you are someone who's trying to take the natural route clean route this is something that i highly recommend now this has a kind of like in between medium and sheer pigmentation you can build it up for sure and this contains camellia oil and pomegranate it flower and I like to use this on a daily basis to just give my lips a little bit of hydration and a little bit of tint. I like to apply one swipe on my bottom lip and then I spread it all over the rest of my lip with my fingertips and whatever is remaining on my finger I apply it on my cheeks as well and because this is like an oil based formula one it hydrates slightly hydrates your lips as well and it also gives you a very very natural glow to your cheeks so it looks like you're actually very healthy with that flush and shine on your cheeks and it lasts like a good three, four hours, um, good enough for me, you know, good enough for me. So if you're gonna eat food or drink whatever it's gonna rub off it's not meant to be long long lasting on this i cannot find a shade name so this is the one that is red in color they sent me one in pink and one in like a deep maroon as well this red color is my favorite from all of it needless to say of course this will transfer it's a very like creamy oily not oily but oil based formula and before we move on let me tell you about my skin shade i'm an nc45 in max so if any of these nudes look nude on me if you are any lighter than nc45 it will look darker on you now if you are deeper than my skin tone the nudes are gonna look even lighter on your skin tone so you have to make sure that uh, you know whatever reference i give you take it with respect to your skin tone as well all the lipsticks I'm gonna show you today will suit all all sorts of skin tones but it will just look different on you depending on your skin color next up I have got this beautiful beautiful nude shade in my dictionary this is my perfect nude and this is cool guy by Masaba for Nika. I love this lipstick so much even the packaging it's got like a cardboard paper packaging and um, I don't know if I'm blowing it out beautiful artwork on it and like a metal tube of course there's a little bit of plastic somewhere inside but I love the cream of it I love the tones of it it's got a little bit of cool a little bit of warmth it's just perfect nude for someone like me or Masaba's skin tone I think we both have kind of similar skin tone so obviously she must have designed it you know keeping her skin in mind and lucky for me it works perfectly for me so here is an example if you are much much lighter skin tone this will look like a dark brown on you and if you are dark skin tone this will look like a lighter nude on you so keep that in mind for every single lipstick that I'm going to be showing this is creamy it's moisturizing it's hydrating it's not meant to be transfer proof it's a very very regular old school bullet lipstick and it's perfect now the only problem with this lipstick is that it's a little too creamy it's so <laughs> <laughs> so jagged so broken because it is super duper a little too creamy it actually broke off completely and I had to like stick it back in I don't know if you can see it right there um yeah so that's a problem so it's always a mess applying it but the fact that I have so many lipsticks guys and I keep reaching back for this one says a lot about the comfort level and the color of this lipstick. I absolutely love, 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 love it. And she also has like a correlating nail polish which is also one of my favorite nail polishes. You guys are always asking me 
what I'm wearing when I'm wearing that one. The Cool Guy by Masaba for Nike. Beautiful. Next up, I've got another bullet lipstick and this one is from Pack Cosmetics and this is the Lip Dip Lipstick in the shade 04 Kush. On my lips, it is a beautiful flesh-toned color. Kind of peachy, kind of pink. I don't really know how to describe it. All I know is I absolutely love it. Now, this is not the longest wearing lipstick just like the Nika one that I spoke about. Very traditional um, bullet lipstick. It would give you like a three hour wear and it will not survive you if you have a lunch or a coffee or it will not survive food or drinks but I do not mind <laughs> taking this out of my bag and reapplying it. It does not dry out your lips. It kind of gives you a velvet finish. It's not matte or shiny. This one has a tiny bit of shine in this one. This is slightly more matte than this one but it's got a little bit of a velvet, velvet feel to the lips as you can see. We are only in lipstick number three and my lips are already dead. <laughs> I'm worried for me. We have another bullet lipstick and this is from Ruby's Organics in the shade Sherry. And this is a gorgeous berry toned lipstick and this has a little bit longer wear than the other lipsticks that we spoke about. Kind of pushing it like to a four and a half hours, five hours I want to say. This is another purely organic brand, clean ingredients, clean hearts while making it. So it, Ruby's Organics is a brand that I trust through and through and this lipstick is gorgeous. It's a little difficult like the MAC Ruby Woo uh, to apply it on your lips. You have to scrub a dub dub but once it's on it's comfortable, it lasts, it's gorgeous, it's fully pigmented. It will cover your lips if you have pigmented lips like myself as you can see. It also gives you kind of like um, in between matte and creamy finish. Number five on our list guys is the Nykaa So Cream Lipstick and this is in the shade Break a Leg. This is another one of those gorgeous flesh toned lipstick very similar to the pack Lip Dip in Kush and the only difference is that this is a little bit more creamy, a little bit more glossy in finish. It's not glossy but it's kind of leaning towards the glossation not towards the cremation. I actually love all the shades of this launch. I have a swatch video on my Instagram. I will leave the link of that swatch video um, down below so you can check it out if you'd like to see what they look like on me. If you like a true brown, warm, nude, nude brown. <laughs> Did I just say the same words backwards again? But you understood what I'm trying to say. If you want a brown nude lipstick, not a little bit of pink, not a little bit of peach, not mauve, you want a brown nude lipstick, this is the one for you guys. This is Faces Ultim Pro uh, in the shade 08 Warm Nude. Now this gives you a very comfortable, fully matte uh, finish. Once it's dried and after like the three, three and a half hour mark, it does give you a little bit of a line in the inside of your lip, but yeah, you can definitely fix that with a little bit of uh, Vaseline or whatever lip balm that you have. Uh, I don't consider that a problem, especially when wearing a long wear matte liquid lipstick because they always usually end up with that line, you know. Um, this is comfortable wearing. It is very, very long wearing. And once again, this comes with 20 different shades of lipsticks and all 20 shades are absolutely gorgeous on all different skin tones, you know. I also have a full swatch video of this lipstick on my IGTV, so I'll try to find the link of that as well and put it in my description. I have a feeling I'll forget about it, but remind me in the comments and I will do it. <laughs> And this is definitely gonna survive a little bit of tea, coffee, a little bit of snacks, you know. Of course, you eat a very oily salad or biryani, it's gonna come off. It's not Asian paint, it's lipstick. <laughs> Talking about true brown nude shades for deeper skin tones, this is another one that you can get your hands on. This is the new Lacme 3D Matte Lipstick in the shade British Brown. I love, 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 love. Like Lacme lipsticks, they always hit it out of the ballpark. They really get it right. Essentially, it is a sheeny lipstick, you know? It's a very comfortable, medium long wearing lipstick. It fades away evenly, which is nice. It doesn't leave a dirty ring on the center of your mouth. Um, yeah. This is another lipstick from the Lacme 3D Matte collection that I absolutely love and I feel like you need to get your hands on. If you want a pinkier tone nude lipstick, this is it. Mm -hmm. 
they also have a lot of really beautiful reds and oranges and plums and berries but i feel like those are recurring shades but these to me at least are very unique if a long wearing matte liquid lipstick is your jam, this is the one for you. This is from Sugar Cosmetics. This is the Suede Secret Matte Lip Color in the shade 02 Plush Pink. Very, very beautiful. And this is the big sister of the Smudge Me Not liquid lipsticks that I do not like from Sugar Cosmetics. So it's like they took that formula, fixed all the problems, and then they came out with this one. It's comfortable. It doesn't overly dry your lips out, and it lasts a very long time. It's got beautiful shades to choose from and this is the shade that I chose it has a little bit of sheen because I just applied it once it dries it does dry down to a completely powder matte formula but it does not irritate your lips or overtly dry out your lips which is perfect they've just gotten the balance just correct but I'm not gonna wait for it to dry because then I will not be able to take it off and continue with the rest of all the lipsticks that we have oh my god do I love this lipstick or do I love this lipstick like at the moment I'm not even feeling pinks or reds but every time I put on this particular pink lipstick I'm in love I'm in love with the lipstick with the way it makes my skin tone look I just love it this is a pack sweet sensation lip cream in the shade 15 old school now this reminds me of the nyx soft matte lip cream but a much more pigmented much more whipped cream formula it that's what it feels like it feels like whipped cream on your lips and very comfortable very matte very like it it kind of covers your lip lines kind of like makes your lips look full something about the formula guys it's just so beautiful so it's it's very very matte but it's not powder matte you know it doesn't give you any funny lines on your lip it doesn't dry out your lips it still stays kind of like trans kind of transfery but it's so matte what is this magic i absolutely love it it's not coming off guys houston we have a problem if rusty brick red color and a long wearing comfortable matte formula is your thing, this is what you need to be getting. This is the Lakme Absolute Matte Melt Liquid Lip Color in the shade Red Smoke. I like the fact that it kind of falls into the red family. It kind of gives me the boldness that a red lipstick would give, but it's not as in your face as a traditional red. It's more bricky rusty <laughs> and i also love the formula it's very very pigmented it gives you the pigmentation in one swipe it's very comfortable and very long wearing it does not accentuate your lip lines or give you any funny like you know sediments or <laughs> weirdo lines in between it doesn't do anything like that it wears off in a very beautiful way as well so that's what i like about this whole range and this color especially is is one that i pick when i feel like a sassy old auntie like in See? See what I mean? <laughs> Man, Lakme can do no wrong when it comes to lipsticks. Damn, that's a beautiful shade. What I want to show you is not this shade, but I want to talk about this as well. This is the Lakme 9 to 5 in Nude Dust. When they say nude on their lipstick, it actually even implies to darker skin tone, which I really, really love. But what I want to show you today is a combination that I'm in love with. So I like to mix these two up. And this is the Lakme Absolute Berry Boost. So obviously you can create a similar shade with lipsticks that you have, but this is what I have and I love it. When I mix these two together, it just gives me the perfect flushed lips. And of course, because we are mixing two lipsticks, we can heighten the amount of rosiness or heighten the amount of nudeness. We can really custom make this color. You know, I absolutely, man, I love it. I love it so much. On my lips, I have the lipstick from K-Beauty and this is in the shade Climax. And this is a very, 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 very long lasting formula. It lasted up to nine hours on my lips. I have a whole video on this. I will link it up here. The only thing is that by the end of nine hours, it will dry out your lips because it's so matte. 
If you don't like that matte effect or the drying effect, you can definitely put on a little bit of lip balm over it or even a gloss over it. And I also love using this on my cheeks when it is really oily and humid here and I do not want to add an extra layer of shine. Kind of keeps it, you know, kind, kind of oil free and uh, gives me a beautiful flush on my cheeks and my eyelid as well. Now the next one I'm gonna be wearing is the shade in Countdown and guys, these guys are so long wearing that this is what I prefer to travel with. When you travel is when you don't wanna spend time touching up and whatnot, you know, then this is just so ideal. If you're going for a meeting or, you know, if you have a long day where you know you cannot touch up on your lipstick, this is, Truly, like I know that's what Katrina said um, <laughs> when she was launching it and everything, but truly that is the thing. Just that by the end of the day, by the end of the day, nine hours, 10 hours, it'll start wearing off from the center of your lips. And if you have to touch up, that is where you'll have to touch up. These two shades are very similar. Countdown is a lighter version of Climax. And did I say already that this video is not sponsored? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow my lips feel sore but we are getting to the end of this video guys we've got the ColourPop Lux Velvet lipstick in the shade Southbound next oh my god I love I love the shade let me just put this on I love this shade I love the texture I love the way it wears I love everything about this particular lipstick just the shade is a very beautiful berry naturally tinted kind of a lips and i j i do not re-dip while applying my whole lip in this you know what i feel is unique about this lipstick is that it kind of retains the texture of your lips it doesn't look like you've got anything on your lips at all you know when you apply lipstick matte or creamy or whatever you can see that layer of lipstick this you, you can't see it you know and it's very comfortable very long wearing altogether I just love it so much it does tend to wear off in the center of your lips though so if you want to touch up that is where you'd want to touch up but the tint on its own will wear a very 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 long time Anyways, let's move on to the very last lipstick of this video. All right, guys, and the last one we have today is a Too Faced Matte Talic Lipstick in the shade I Dare You. So the whole idea behind this lipstick is that it is purely matte. There is no shine, there is no sheen, but there is crushed shimmers in the lipstick. So it kind of has like, you know, a matte car with shimmers in the sunlight kind of a finish. It's so gorgeous. It is insanely long wearing and it is insanely comfortable on your lips like you can't even feel it it does not dry out your lips and this is what i wear uh, for events because you do not have to touch up and it does not wear off and it does not fade it doesn't dry out your lips it's just so so gorgeous i absolutely love this uh, melted formula the original Too Faced melted formula i did not like because it used to dry out my lips this just doesn't do it guys that's that and it's great that Too Faced has finally launched in india through nika as well so you can get your hands on this if you are from india as well so that's that guys we have successfully swatched oh my goodness i cannot believe it <laughs> about 15 lipsticks on my lips right here right now i hope you found this video helpful i feel like i have lipstick on my teeth and also let me know just in general what is your current favorite lipstick i cannot wait to read your comments stay safe stay responsible thank you for watching this video i love you so much and i shall see you on my instagram Mwah.